What is up, everybody? This is Easy, Easy Street Gaming, bringing you a Brutal Age partner guide on the Dragon Man. Who said finally? Or at last? <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done the last one. A little behind. We'll get right into the Red Dragon Man. Starts off at 3 star. He can go all the way to the third awakening at 6 star. Red Dragon Man. He's got a couple good, pretty cool features that I never knew. I, I used to think he was kind of uh, an underachiever. We'll start off with the Legion though. He restrains the enemy's Beastmaster. <clears throat> Not a huge fan of the rest of the restraining of the enemy, just because you don't always know who's going to who or how many of the enemy troops are going to have and what. Uh, personally, I like to boost my own morale. <laughs> you can tell how excited I am about that. First skill is the claw attack. This is an attack one one person. So he'll go he'll, he'll jump out and attack one person. It it gets stronger the higher speed that the red dragon man has. I believe he has two different attacks that are affected by his speed. So he is definitely going to have speed all over his war patterns. Second is his main attack. This is his big attack. To be honest with you, it's it's called raid. It's huge against the lonely warrior. You've seen in previous videos, if you've watched them, that he's done, oh, I, I believe 70,000 damage against, um, Saya. Is it Saya? Yeah, against Saya. Uh, so he does, he'll consume some of his own hit points and then use it to attack the other, the, the enemy, and, and it's based on their max hit points. So the more hit points they have, the higher the attack will be. Third skill is Lava Spout. He gets all three at right right away doesn't have to wait for the third awakening for the third skill lava spout he attacks all the enemies he uh reduces their speed i don't think this is slow but he reduces their speed for two rounds has a 50 percent chance to do other debuffs so pretty pretty good rated him second overall out of the three um he was on my ignore status for a while until i saw someone from server 323 boars uh, we, we had seen him in the ranked matches as the fastest uh, hero in the, in the whole game and then we realized that a third awakening gets a huge bump, um, bump on speed he gets all the way up to 126 and that's just the, the basic skill for speed which is a really big number um, doesn't have any leader skill very few partners don't have leader skills I'd have to guess like you would uh, to, <laughs> for the other ones Moving right along, Blue Dragon Man, kind of an awkward partner because I don't know exactly the best part about Blue, and I'm not going to say he's no good because every time I've said that in the past, and I mean every, I've been wrong, but he's got super high hit points, got like 6,500 at Third Awakening, he's got the Inspire Legion skill, which means that if he survives at the end of any attack, after the partners battle it out, if he's alive, he will increase your shaman's morale by 30. And this can be important. Next video coming up is actually on the something pages. Can't think of it right now. <laughs> Jesus. I don't feel like stopping the video. I'll get back to it as soon as it comes to me. I'll just spur it out. First skill is the claws attack. This is just like Red Dragon Man. He attacks with sharp claws. His attack will do more damage the faster his speed is. So like red, blue dragon man will have speed all over his war patterns as well. His second skill is another one one on one attack. It's called crackling strike. It's an attack where he will do a debuff at the same time. He'll de decrease the enemy's attack and defense for two rounds. And this is going to be another fairly powerful attack once you get once you get him up there to round level 40. And his third skill comes after the third awakening, and I have yet to see this in action. Uh, it's, he's a very rare uh, third awakened partner. I, I don't know if it's because he's no good or because no one's got around to doing it yet. But we're working on that. We're going to have a video on him once we get him third awakened. It's called Ferocious Bite. It can deal damage. Uh, the, the higher his hit points and speed the more damage he does so this this tells us uh, more hints on war patterns 
and um, I'd love to tell you how much damage you can do I, I just don't know yet but we will find that out so at six stars third awakening it's got some pretty good stats as far as the hit points highest hit points out of the three attack and defense kind of average speed above average for every other partner but average for dragon man and he does have a leader skill right at three star right at right when you first get him he'll get the plus 30 percent on attack but it's only for blue only for wise partners so good leader for the wise team and for the most famous of the dragon man green dragon man by far the the most used dragon man out there he's listed as a support partner most of us already know he is a speed enhancement partner he is the original speedster of brutal age his legion skill is to restrain so if dragon man survives the enemy warriors will get a negative 30 on the morale so let's restrain the enemy warriors if he survives at the end of a partner versus partner battle whatever troops are warrior on the enemy team will suffer a negative 30 on the morale hopefully they have warriors first skill is the claw attack all three have the same first skill this attack like the other two does better the more speed it has I don't think I need to tell you that green dragon man needs speed but I will anyway he needs speed so we'll, we'll, we'll use cat war pattern on him. We'll use left hand speed as well. I would suggest that we're going to do that on all of them. Second skill is called crackling strike. Same as one of the other two. Blue, blue. Maybe, maybe, yeah, same as blue. Because red has the big second, second attack. So he rushes at the enemy and this is another one on one attack. Decreases the enemy's attack and defense for two rounds. For anyone that's used Green Dragon Man, he's a very popular partner. C comes in at a three star, but very popular, very strong at six star. Really important partner, especially because you don't have to uh, spin turtles to get him, and he's not rare. He's very common. Third skill is the Wild Roar. It's plus speed for three rounds for the entire team, plus thirty percent on the action bar. This is one of the biggest skills in the game. Uh, when you get speed added to the entire team for three rounds it gives the entire team an advantage the only thing that can take that away would be the green nomad green nomad negates that I believe I don't know exactly how either <clears throat> but I think green nomad is always the fastest partner on the team at six stars third awakening here's his stats and I have him first due to his rare skill the wild roar which does make an average team awesome also, at Third Awakening, he gets the uh, the attack leader skill, so it's uh, be plus thirty percent attack for all green partners. Just a little added info: when, whenever you're looking at the bonuses on that, you get plus thirty thirty for the three stars, plus forty for four stars, plus fifty for the five stars, regardless of what star they end up. My little warning: this may not be how everyone does it, so follow my direction at your own risk. <laughs> if you were to follow my direction, you would have thrown the green uh, scarecrows away from the beginning and be left out without one. So, showed you that. Some basic stats at, at the 6 star third awakening Red Dragon Man has 4,300 hit points, five, over 500 attack, a little below average defense, but speed 126 speed. So, he's got great attack, great speed. As far as the war patterns, I have him with Cat War Pattern, he takes four. That's 25% speed. You can also use Bull War Pattern, but I have another alternative for for Red Dragon Man. Uh, the the Bull War Pattern helps keep him alive. Dragon Man it does well with defense as well, but I think with the newest uh, War Patterns, the Lion War Pattern gives 8% team attack. I think being able to add even more attack to Red Dragon Man that would help him out even more. Uh, his, his, his attacks are stronger the higher hit points that he has so you want to you want to use at least um, one of the top three with hit point percentage but because of that you want speed hit points and attack in as many of the war patterns as possible uh, we use speed on his left hand for sure you want five star speed on his left hand just be careful with those speed war patterns so you can get a lot of pluses after this after the first ability 
So you don't want plus speed, then plus hit point, and plus attack, and plus defense. You want you really want the percentages after that plus speed. You're gonna have to go through quite a few to get to it. Blue Dragon Man, a little bit different because he does uh, his hit points are 6,700. Attack down to three three hundred and thirty six. Defense two seventy one. Speed one eleven. Nothing really stands out except for the hit points. So we'll we'll increase his hit points even more by putting hit points on his helmet and on his right hand. Left hand we're gonna stay with speed. Um, remember you focus on hit points and speed because two of his three attacks rely on hit points to do more damage and speed. Both of them to do more damage. Or oh, maybe two out of three is speed. And one of our hit points I don't remember. It's already about three minutes ago. <laughs> Make sure you try to get speed in every one of his patterns. Now you want him in, as a first on the left hand, but after that you want to get speed in like this uh, in w every one of the other war patterns. You, you need to increase his speed as much as possible, at a, so every war pattern should have speed in it. Green Dragon Man, another cat. Cat's been on all all three. Once he gets to the third awakening, I believe he gets a pretty big boost in defense. That's where his big defense lift comes in. So I'm suggesting speed on the left hand, hit points on the helmet, right hand defense percentage. <clears throat> Some key places to look for the war pattern hints, you want to look in all three of their skills. But also go check out their uh, third awakened. Once you have them first and second awakened, you can look at what they need for the third awakened. You can find out what partners they need. Uh, they're going to need two of some partner of the, of some four star, and then a bunch more four stars, and uh, and the five stars need five stars. But they will show you at the third level of awakening. They'll show you what their what their boosts are, and a lot of times it's going that's a good hint at what you'll need to put on their war patterns. Whatever they're getting on the third awakening, you really want to include that in the war patterns. You really want to try to increase whatever they have going for them already. And here's the little race, in case no one knew it. Red is the fastest of all the Dragomans. Green helps the whole team. Come on down to Patreon. We've got a bunch of people down there already. I really appreciate everyone. I, I can't say it enough. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody. Yeah. <laughs>